all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as in the hot you they watch up if they go everything they go see the weather anyway let's go down to the information of the day where we say that i carry your scuff for this matter today for you i tell you make you not touch that die whatever you say you they listen to us because now correct correct information now you go to drink drop for your table as it they drip you know shelly IPOB members don't want to, they say, allow Igbos to breathe. IPOB demand reversal of taxes on generator users by Enugu Imo governors. <laughs> Why people don't say, Tela, uh, they say, uh, government one day collect tax from uh, people where we say that they use generator. Uh, we call ask government, say, uh, whether Una don't give 24 hours light before for Una life. Since they bought me for Nigeria, since 1967, the matter never settled. Uh, since that time where they bought me, he never did one day, why day for my life. They say, light day for 24 hours for Nigeria, they no take them. If they don't take them, at least they go take them one hour, they go bring them back. But I hear say for Ghana, for Ghana, they know they take light. For every coast, they know they take light. But for Nigeria, they, they use our light, do ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. I see the B, IPOB in a statement issued on Monday by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, described the taxing of generator user taxing of generator users by Governor Umba and by Governor Uzo Dima as anti people and anti economic action. Ewa. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has asked Governor Pitamba of Enugu State and Governor Hope Zodema of Imo State to immediately reverse the tax imposed on generator and solar energy. IPOB, in a statement issued on Monday by its media and public secretary, Ima Powerful, described the taxing of generator users by Governor Mba and Governor Uvodema as anti people and anti economic action. Powerful said the retrogressive and punitive tax on the citizens who are generating power via solar energy and other power generator generating sources by the Imo state and Enugu state governor is highly condemnable. Governor Peter Mba of Enugu state and Governor Hope Zodema of Imo state in these are proven that they were brought into office to impoverish Ndibo. The residents of Enugu and Imo state have been imposed with obnoxious energy tasks for generating their own lights. It is in a same country with responsible leaders. The provision of reliable electricity is the duty of the government. I first talk this one where we say at the start. I say for 24 hours, uh, light never day for Nigeria since the day where they bombed me in Bosib I never see them before. <laughs> But as it be in Nigeria, the citizens are penalized for generating their own lights, which the Nigerian government ought to be responsible for in Enugu and Imo state, respectively. The IPOB spokesperson said to demonstrate government's ineptness, the two governors in Imo and Enugu state introduced the retrogressive energy tax on citizens using solar energy and other generators in order to perpetuate darkness in Alibo and green the economic activities in Alibo to a halt. Powerful alleged, Governor Pitamba and Hope Zodema are colluding with a Force force EEDC company to shortchange Igbo by indirectly imposing a ban on a on people not to have alternative power source outside a Force force criminal enterprise called EEDC. No be me talk amo, no be me talk am make una no come for the find me come na IPOB in my power for nine talk am say a Force for EEDC is saying a criminal enterprise. According to him, he said if these governors want the citizens not to use solar energy and generators, they should first demand that EEDC provide constant electricity to the people. 
colluding with the criminal enterprise called EEDC management to restrict citizens from enjoying electricity so that they will rely solely on erratic power from EEDC is not only criminal but a clear economic sabotage of the economic growth of Alibo and that part of the southeast. IPOB is calling on Governor Peter Mba and Governor Opus or the math to stand down on their retrogressive energy tax imposed in their states. Instead of imposing tax on those generating their own power, the government should compensate and encourage them for helping to reduce the pressure on the dilapidated power facilities in Nigeria. The tax on people who are providing electricity from alternative sources outside EEDC is not only evil but satanic. Governor Pitamba and Governor Opus Odema, please allow Ndibo to breathe and remove the retrogressive energy tax on Ndibo. It does hurt, it does hurt, it does hurt, it does hurt my people. And the women and the when I don't see as the matter they sub, now the IPOB, and then they talk this one, they say, hmm, uh, this thing where we say, Anambra state governors, they do, they say, nah, now nah wickedness, so. <laughs> Um, but I myself can't kind of wonder why a uh, government self go the imposters uh, on people where say they have devised a means to provide their own uh, electricity, their own electricity energy uh, that the government have refused to uh, provide for them uh, because uh, as it is and are the people now in the provide. But in a developed country, in a wise nation, uh, now the now the government. And I they provide for electricity. Meanwhile, uh, the people are then they pay for the electricity. But as it is, uh, that has not been the case of Nigeria. You don't share. They say NLC President Ajero regains freedom after detention by the DSS. And I will say that um, NLC Ajero, uh, what you are is a woman. Uh, if they should categorize you, they should have categorized you in one because. Um, Ajero on the May when President Tinubu assumed office and he said fuel subsidy is gone I admired Ajero's courage uh, when he took the people to protest and said uh, that Mr. President and his court, his members, his cabals and everybody that are behind him, his senators and the rest of them must remove must uh, record their speech and return fuel subsidy. Ajero took it up. The masses, the citizens joined him. Everybody joined the protest, the universities and the rest of them. But along the line, Ajero himself, without telling the people, the masses, what was the matter, he called off the strike. He did not tell us whether the president has, has agreed to remove the fuel subsidy or whether the president is still sticking on the fuel subsidy. He just called off the strike. Uh, he did not even tell the masses what the settlement, what is the base of the settlement, what is the terms and condition of the settlement between me and the president. And now, he wants us to fight with him again without giving us any clue. And for some people, we suggest and we assume that Ajero has collected his own court of the governance and he's just making noise. And when you are making noise with a particular government after you have collected from, some tip from them, my brother, uh, your word is like a poof on the air. I see the be, but make I carry you go for the information. I will just uh, assume. Joe Ajero, president of the Nigeria Labour Congress, has resigned his free he has regained his freedom after being arrested by the Department of Sales Service DSS on Monday at his Abuja, Abuja's Nam the Azikiwe International Airport while preparing to travel to United Kingdom for an official assignment. The NLC announced his Released via a post on his official ex formerly Twitter account in the early hours of Tuesday. Following Ajero's arrest, the NLC swiftly issued a communique condemning his detention, describing it as an act of intimidation aimed at silencing the labor movement and demanding his immediate and unconditional release before 12 p.m. on Monday, emphasizing that Ajero is neither a fugitive nor criminal and his detention was unjustified. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, there has never been anything done in this country that is justified. Uh, the government is chopping the money, unjustified. The senators are chopping the money, unjustified. The president is buying his jets, unjustified. 
the governors are demolishing some people's property unjustified. So if the NIC president is held unjustified, it's still not bad because everything will be said there for this nation. They are all unjustified, unjustified. And that is how that is how things has been going on. Meanwhile, this is where I'm going to wind down the curtain for this morning. Uh, I go see me to you again in the afternoon. And if this is your first time where we say they join us, uh, kindly go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to hit the notification button so that whenever our news enter, you will be the first. We'll collect them. Uh, if you want me to add sports news to the news why they give, kindly drop your comment on the comment section. I go see them and I go no say when I go like them and I go follow what you not like because now what you not like. Now, what you are going to bring? Eeyo. Saro, ononeni, gwe, hagodiana, bonana. I say, that man, he go butter your bread. That man, he go see you through. That man, he go totally you. And that man, he go see you for all your hard desire. Uh, what we say, the desire for this. In Bamoto, of course, you remember, say, we don't enter in Bamoto. <laughs> Live about with the na 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 as we they talk with you. I know say very soon they go to count November, December, November, uh, September, October, November, December. That's so they go after they say they go to enter for 2025. I pray that everything will be said. They desire for your heart. The Almighty God, uh, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, He go bring unto part for you. Make we go down to the full detail of the information, but before I go to bring you that word. If not the first time where we say they carry body put for this channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to all your notification button so that whenever our news they drop, you go be the first one go to that and bam, you go ring for your phone, uh, you go ring for your computer, you go ring for your lappy, your laptop, you go catch a WhatsApp. Make I carry you go for the full detail of what they happen for today in the land of the indigenous people of Biafra. Obodam Ramu, Obodon DK, Obodo of Ihoma. Anybody will say good thing you know go come for the land of the Biafra people. Now the Almighty God uh now go show that person pepper. Uh because mm, you remember say if yourself you they follow the Bible, uh, God said that um as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so I surround his people. And the umuchineke, umuchuku, all the Biafrans, all of Funa we say on a day everywhere. Uh, all the people of Obodu Muchineke, all the children of Zion, I go to call una for Zion. Uh, whenever you hear me call Zion, just know saying that the children of um uh, motherland, children of uh, Igbo, that they might call the children of Zion. Uh, the Bible says the moon shall not strike you by the day, uh, nor the sun by the night, as it be. But meanwhile, you don't shall uh, as IPOB don't declare war on top Anambra State Vigilante Group over alleged clean of members. <laughs> Uh, this one, me, I don't know how he go take B. Huh? But the thing why they see here, like say some people don't make some other people verse. So <laughs> that verse, that they cost this guy thing. Because uh, when you make your brother verse, that your brother go to swear for you. They say IPOB that they don't the clear war on top of Anambra Vigilante Group over alleged killing of their member. They say Anambra Vigilante Group gone kill one of their member. They say this thing they happen for so many for Newi South. They say the name of the person where we say the key. They say name na Emeka Akubo, Akubo, Emeka Akubo, and at the name of the person where we say na end the uh, Anambra State Vigilante go kill. And they say this person a member of the IPOB member where we na be coordinator. They say na the guy be coordinator for that or so many Newi South. And um, the IPOB members, when they interview them, they ask them, they say, uh, why are you waiting to be a verse? Uh, they say the verse, we say, this is their member. They say the man no carry ammo. They say he no carry gun. He no carry knife. He no if you carry pen knife. You know that small pen knife. Uh, where they take cut orange, the time where would they small. He gets one other knife. Uh, if you grow for village, where did they get them for people where they build house? Uh, for that iron, where did they take bridge house? Uh, you go use and do your own pen knife where they take the go school. That pen knife, they say that man, he no carry something like that, oh. Now in the uh, Alhambra State Villa, T see the man, poof, poof, the man off. And uh, now the man, uh, now the man die just like that. That IPOB member says, this one, uh, they don't go there alive. See, as this say, happen to their member. Say, they don't say, they don't go take a bow. Say, now eye for eye, now tooth for tooth, now ear for ear. Now tongue for tongue. Now waiting those uh, IPOB members talk, oh. Now why they go declare war? On top, Alhambra State Vigilante. Make I read you the info small. Make you see that. They say that the spokesman of the group uh, will be saying na Emma Powerful. And then they draw attention of the Anambra State Governor, Professor Charles Tukoma Soludo, to allege murder 
and they said man don't vow to avenge his death uh, if those behind the killing were not fished out. <laughs> First way they talk this one, I am a powerful and I am the spokesperson for the indigenous people of Biafra. He say, huh? Say the death of their member, that one avenge avenge you. Say if the governor and in the kind report go to put out for governor, but it's threat. Say if their member will be said that in this nine be the Anambra State uh, security go oof. They say that word, if they don't fish out the people will do an revenge, now you go come uh, waiting, now you go come follow back. According to that powerful, they say Akubo, say you know carry arm or Akubo was on arm and he did not do anything to those uh Anambra state vigilante we kill him. They say now nah, no four, now nah, just greediness. Uh, say uh, IPOB branch will be say they for that assuming you know they grow and now nah, vigilante go with that man. They say this fearless uh, f hero. That man, what do they call a coup? And I fear this, they say no commit any crime or whatsoever. For murdering an innocent and armed IPOB member, they say the AVG don't murder sleep in Anambra State. And I, uh, in my powerful con, they talk, say all the people where we say they're for responsible for that disturbing act, they say they, mu they must be fished out and prosecuted for murder. Hmm. They say failing which, oh, the consequences will be grave, grave one. And that IPOB uh, in my powerful, they talk this one. Say, if these people they are not fished out, say the consequences of waiting they do, it go be grave. Oh. Hmm. But myself, I can't wonder how person go go keep person when no they arm. Now in my powerful verse, say all the field of where they fight, say no before what person or not for all the children of their friends, may all of them come out. But I say they touch light for that one. Sort the way bad don't happen, no. hmm. The same IPOB man don't talk out, say he gets some secret detention centers where we say he did for he did for NIG, where the NIG government they carry people go they detain them there. They say some of them say plenty of people they happen there, plenty things they happen there. They, they accuse them say so they do all all guy harvest do so they do human trade do. Make I carry you go for the uh, full detail of the information which you see that thing they happen because. Uh, and the man you say that um, our people say that a uh, snake, uh, python where one person key see, or snake where one one person see, they say they turn to snake, but make no be only me, me go see and make a carry you go for that information. Remember, uh, if my first time where we say they touch down on this channel, uh, kindly go down, just subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button do. I see the be. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has said it has uncovered secret detention centers where Nigerian security forces have allegedly been detaining and holding incommunicado some Biafra activists. Oh, say Taylor. Hmm. <clears throat> the group explained that it wishes to alert the public about the secret detention facilities due to the horrible human rights abuses, maltreatment of innocent people, torture organ racketeering and forceful disappearance happening at the detention centers. <laughs> make I carry you go back. I, I want to carry you go back, make you hear a well well. Uh, because if I rush up, if you don't go here, they say, watch you. They say the group explained that it wishes to alert the public about the secret detention facility. So they say due to the horrible human rights abuses where they go inside there, I see the boy who uh, human rights abuse where they go inside. They say my treatment of innocent people, torture, organ racketeering, organ racketeering, organ racketeering. You they hear that one? <laughs> These guys they talk say that for inside a police facility that all this one they solve. Me myself, I can't show that. I say where they say for the Obodokwano. <laughs> if they say police carry you. And your people don't know where you did, they racketeer you for your own arm. It's like what they are kidding you, they say kidding you, uh, say your arm, say your tatadia. Who would I do a while? Nigeria, Ben, 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 you know, say, uh, some people sing this song, uh, make the praise Nigeria, say Nigeria, go better, Nigeria, go better. But when my mama bought me, uh, when I did small, I remember when they, they buy fish for 25 naira. They even buy fish for, for 50 naira. They still buy fish for 150 before call they reach 200. That was time safe when you, you know they reach 200. Uh, people they complain, say, sister, they high. 
I remember that time, self Lika, and for you to buy Lika, you go buy Lika 15 naira before Lika can climb to 20 naira. He let a Lika can be caught 25 naira. People they complain, say things not hard, though. That time, no, bash and your time. But as it be, uh, things don't change. If you want to buy all those small, small, be there, like four, five hundred, I go hold, though. <laughs> Make we go back to the matter where we say carry us come here. Eh? Remember they say that they say uh IPOB talk say get some secret places where we say there for this Niger uh, for some police stations. They even call police station names. Uh, make you know say they do a hide up. Uh, I go I go still reach that place. I go now go now go now uh, make you know drink uh, wine where do it tastes good. The good wine they come. You go here the food it. Uh, my, 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 I don't go miss one. I see the V, they say what they do for that NIG detention. They say that my treatment of innocent people, they, they torture them. And the one way we enter my brain that that organ that can tear it, and forceful disappearance happening at detention centers. Uh, make you see, they even mention the detention center's name. They say some of the secret detention centers of alleged, alleged as alleged by IPOB in a statement, its media and public secretary, Emma Powerful, include. He said, Wawa military base. <laughs> they listen to Wawa military days. No, we will talk about the information I read to you uh, because the court said that we will talk all these things. The information we say the Apple, we see the IPOB talk say that here, and I didn't tell people, make you know what's in the Apple, no, make you know go to die yourself. They say what? They said that Wawa military base. They said the second one, they said uh, uh, Kanji Dan Detention Center. Ha. Huh. Another one, a Niger State Barrack and Prisons. This one are the third one. They say the fourth one, a DSS headquarters where they for Abuja. Uh, hey, this one shocked me. Oh. I don't know if it be true, if it not be true, uh, because uh, information they need to investigate up. Because me, I don't believe make you go the carry allegation they put on top of people. Uh, this one, IPOB, would I go also show how would I investigate? She said this is the truth to right, they happened. Let me say this kind of thing don't feel it happened though. If it happened, but eh, they need to know the exact place, maybe people don't go make the misquote location. They say DSS headquarters where they for Abuja. Another one, an intelligence response team, IRT, Abotua, Abuja, Osetela. Another one, they say that Tiger Base Police Detention, Owere, Imo State, Tiger Base. Police detention with the evil state. Uh, this evil state will shock me. Oh. <laughs> Another one, the good luck, Jonathan's Abbey Barack of Abia State. Abia State. <laughs> Another one, the way they mention, they say that the Zodai, oh boy. He be said that almost the police, uh, this state of prison is where they deny this thing they happen. It shock you. It shock me too. Another one, the Abia State uh, Detention Center. Now, wow, another one, this one, for Adam Barrow, they say that Zone 13 or oh, Adam Brown State, too, who oh, say, say, lah, now for all the states, this thing they happen. Uh, this thing they shock me, oh. Another one, na uh, on nature, Army Barracks, Adam Brown State, too. Ha <laughs> ha. They include others, they say other ones be a uh, Navy base, uh, or Baru, Adam Brown State. They wrote another one, SAS, Akuzo. Oh, wow. Alhambra State, Ewo, 82 Division, Elugu Military Barracks, Elugu State, Osetela, <laughs> OBZ, Army Barracks, Owere, Imo State, O, 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 Yao. Another one where they mention, say, they send a Central Police Station Headquarters, Omo, I, Omo, I, Another one, na Abia State CID headquarters. Abia State CID. <laughs> Another one, na head CID headquarters, Oka, Anambra State. <laughs> Another one, where they make sure that Fasaba, Asaba people, Una de here, and they say na Nava base, Asaba. What of the other people, Una follow, Una follow, they say that Delta State. And another one, when I enugu mazimon prison, enugu state, o se te la. Another one, a pata court mazimon prison, river state. Ewo, 
Aba prisons had their state follow for the rest where IPOB put to. They can't still put Aba Kiliki prisons. Another one be quite a bony state. Ha <laughs> ha. They still put Uyo prisons are quite bomo. Oh, where the prisons in most state follow quite o. Kuje prisons are bony chade put them. KB prisons, Suleja prisons. Niger State and Nigeria Military Intelligence Detention Facility Abuja. They put that one too. And I um, mean, I wonder how IPOB take decode all these infos where we say they happen for insiders and plenty, plenty places. Now, almost all the higher, higher ABB detention centers now in the day here. Yeah. He said the arch people who relative are missing, you know, say make they go look for their people for these prisons where we say they call their name, say they say that there, it they happen. Uh, now they talk about Ndibo are the highest ethnic group that are being detained with accusation of being either members of IPOB or ESN or framed as kidnappers by the notorious Nigeria police. Now they call them ODSS and Army. Ndibo have been profiled because of their ethnicity by the Nigerian government and hunted and detained across all illegal detention centers in Nigeria. <laughs> now, IPOB members, now they talk this one. But meanwhile, uh, uh, make a touch light one more story for you uh, because before I go, they go down. Another one story where I want to touch light be say Simon Epa, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in Neza, he said the man don't fume over alleged killing of youth in Anambra state. You know, say the other time for Anambra, uh, some Nigeria forces they go do waiting no good for there. Uh, waiting no good there, they do be say. Uh, they kill the born, put the house down, now nah, then do a more. Uh, now, I'm passing my neighbor. Say, this thing will not do, you know, good though. <laughs> what I see, they be, you know, the country where we day, even like I say the issue of security, office security, uh, that they become very lucrative business for the country where we day. But my prayer, we say, you know, go be me, you know, go be my brother, you know, go be anybody where you did letter to me. But now here I go to wind that the cotton and if that the first time we say the car body put for this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification buttons so that you whenever our news will enter, it will be the first thing we will collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you. War on Anambra Vigilante Group over alleged killing of members. The indigenous people of Biafra has drawn a battle line with Anambra Vigilante Group, AVG, for the alleged killing of its Osumeni Newi South Coordinator Emeka Akubo. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. Meanwhile, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share. The spokesperson of the group, Emma Powerful, who drew the attention of Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Soludo to the alleged murder, has vowed to avenge his death if those behind the killing were not fished out. According to Powerful, Akubwe was unarmed and did nothing to vigilante group before he was killed. He said the fearless hero committed no crime whatsoever for murdering an innocent unarmed IPOB member. The AVG has murdered sleep in Anambara. Those responsible for the disturbing act must be fished out and prosecuted for murder, failing which the consequences will be a grave one. This innocent Biafran was murdered on 31st August 2024 by a soulless and notorious Anambra Ebubag group called AVG. What was the crime of Mazi Akubwe that warranted his murder? His only crime is being a member of nonviolent freedom movement fighting for the freedom of Biafrans, including the freedom of those in the AVG. IPOB members are peaceful and unarmed civilians contributing their hard-earned money for Biafra freedom and for the safety of all Biafrans. Instead of joining hands with IPOB to protect Biafra land from criminal and terrorists, the Anambra Vigilante Group has turned their guns against indigenous people they will surely pay for their treachery and sins. IPOB has never considered any vigilante group in Alibo, including AVG, as enemy. But for all intent and purpose, AVG has considered themselves as part of the Nigerian security forces that plan to obliterate the IPOB movement. We shall treat them as an enemy of IPOB and the 
Biafra struggle. And my people, this one is happening live in Anambra State. Uh, and uh, IPOB member, a coordinator in New South, uh, by name Akubwe, uh, was sent to judgment by the members of Anambra State uh, Vigilante Group. And um, this has caused uh, the, 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 the aggravation of anger uh, from the members of the IPOB. Uh, IPOB members are now aggravated, uh, asking uh, why should the, the members of Anambra State uh, Vigilante uh, murder a sleeping lion in a blood daylight. And um, according to the information, uh, the man in question, the Akubo in question, was not armed. He was not with any arm. Uh, I feel that uh, this Anambra State Vigilante group uh, felt that he is becoming a threat to them and they decided to send him to judgment. But when the full information of what happened there comes out, I will make sure uh, that I pass that information to uh, each and every one of you because uh, it is becoming too much. I believe that uh, this struggle for Biafra is not a do or die affair and it's not an infight. Because an Anambra State AVG member uh, killing a member of the indigenous people of Biafra, uh, I don't think uh, 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 I don't think that I don't think that um, it goes well. Because I believe that the freedom is for everybody. Meanwhile, uh, Master Simon Eba has something to say on that. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. Uh, Simon Eba. Uh, the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile has condemned attacks and killing of Biafrans in Anambra State. Uh, Eba has condemned also that killing and that attack. I also, he has also condemned the killing uh, that went on in Obaru community also in Anambra State, where there was a viral, a viral video uh, where uh, a lot of youths were killed uh, by the NIG security forces. A viral video had emerged over the week showing dead bodies of some youth with accompanying voice note claiming they were killed by security agencies. In a statement on Wednesday on Eba's official ex handle, he condemned the killing. A video posted by Eba, who is known as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, claimed that Nigerian security forces poured gasoline on lifeless men and set them ablaze. According to him, the incident will not deter BRGIE from pursuing Biafra liberation. The nation has been thrown into mourning as the terrorists killed and slaughtered innocent Biafra citizens in Obaru and destroyed their homes. On behalf of the Biafra government, our condolences go to the Biafra families in Obaru, says Simon Eba. He said, our objective family remains to achieve Biafra liberation despite the resistance of Nigeria and its institutions within the Biafra territory. Nothing will deter the people's quest for freedom, and Nigeria can never be allowed to become a heaven for terrorists. Its end has certainly come, he said. Meanwhile, as of the time uh, filing this report, Obaru uh, community police are yet to respond. Uh, this one is happening live in Obaru, Anambra State, uh, where some innocent youths were sent to judgment uh, by the members of the NIG forces. And um, we are yet to ascertain uh, the reason behind that killing in Obaru, and the issue of killing and insecurity is becoming is becoming unbearable in Nigeria as a whole, and um, and um, uh, in in Anambra State and in the southeastern part of Nigeria, and I think it's high time the government starts doing something, uh, because uh, the rich people will think that is not going to affect them. Meanwhile, the issue of insecurity usually affects uh, the, the, the rich people first. It affects uh, the rich people. As CDB, uh, let's go down on another information because I promised to the, uh, they bring you the information one by one. Uh, recently, the members of IPOB has claimed that uh, it has uncovered secret detention centers 
where uh, Biafra activists are being held. <laughs> um, of course, you know that there were some Biafra activists who were arrested 2021-2022, and up until now, some of these people uh, has not been accounted for. And um, of course, you know that uh, Nigeria has not become that sophisticated, uh, whereby the info of everybody uh, can be out. But the question is, these Biafra activists that were arrested, where are they, where are they or what has happened to them? W what, what is their way about? How can we know? Meanwhile, another information, the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, Mahasi Simon Eba, has unveiled 40 state Biafra map. Uh, according to him, uh, that the Biafra state is going to be about 40 states. Let's go down to that information. Simon Eba, led Biafra government BRIG, has announced December 2nd, 2024, as the date to present its 40 United States of Biafra map and issue a declaration. Eba, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, disclosed this in a statement on Tuesday through his official ex handle. According to him, this move is to further consolidate the actualization of Biafra independence. The Biafra government is presenting the complete map of Biafra in preparation for the 2nd of December 2024, he stated. The Biafra government is presenting the complete map of Biafra in preparation for the 2nd of December 2024, he stated. Daily Post recalls that Biafra agitator Eba and Nam the Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, has continued to push the liberation of Biafra despite stiff opposition by the Nigerian government. Eba recently engaged former United States lawmaker and lobbyist James to help convince the U.S. government to support the Biafra secession from Nigeria. Of course, you know, getting other nations to uh, support um, a nation's secession from other nations is more like uh, bargaining for a game uh, because uh, sometimes the game is fair, sometimes the, the, game, the game is not fair too. Sometimes it's fair and sometimes it's not fair. Uh, because uh, every nation that you are engaging to support you in your bid to secede uh, will be looking at uh, what they are going to get, what they are going to get from you. Of course, you know that the already existing nation, they are already getting something from there uh, because some of these Western countries are gaining heavily uh, from African countries and uh, they can't stop gaining um, before you are presenting, especially in Africa, your bid for secession, uh, they must know what they are going to gain first before they double into that deal. Meanwhile, this is where I'll be winding down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us, kindly go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, share. And also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first to collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.